Here is a very typical question shows up on algebra two. We're given a function, and we're asked to do find the remainder without the long division. Okay, this is a tricky part. So let's see how we go about solving this one. All right, so here's the analysis. I have a very easy division over here. Seven divided by three with two as a quotient and one as a remainder. As you can see, we write 7 as 2 times 3, quotient times what we're dividing by, adding the remainder. This is no different than what we're doing over here. So we were asked to have this function divided by x minus 3. Since with that long division, we don't know what the quotient is, but it doesn't care. Because we can have the quotient times the x minus 3 plus the remainder. All we are interested in is, is this remainder. And how do we go about finding this one? Well, luck is on our side because if we have x minus 3 evaluated x equal to 3 on both sides, as you can see, since x equal to 3, this whole chunk goes away. The remainder we can find. And all we have to do is evaluate the function at x equal to 3. All right, let's uh, write up the solution. All right, so here's our solution. fx is equal to x minus 3, whatever we've been asked to divide by, plus uh, times, pardon me, times some quotient we don't know since we're asked not to do long division and some sort of remainder. Now notice I write this function as equal to what we thought of in the analysis over here, x minus 3 times whatever the quotient, plus the remainder. When x equal to 3, this chunk entirely disappear and the remainder is left off. So all I have to do on the left hand side is evaluate the function at x equal to 3. That happened to be a 2 over here. So remainder is 2 without doing long division. Well, I hope this helps. Hi, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. Please comment, share, or hit the like button on this video. Together we can make math easy again. Have a confident day.